Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to convert an HTML string to a PNG screenshot using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This connector will save you the trouble of rendering HTML pages to take screenshots on your own and allowing you to quickly review the output of your HTML code in a standardized way without any extra hassle. Without further ado, let's dive right into the demo. I'm going to start by creating an instant cloud flow and selecting the option to manually trigger it. On the one hand, this is a standard operating procedure for demonstrating connectors, but on the other, it's also a great design idea if you want to create a button for quick HTML to PNG conversions. Once I reach the flow diagram page, I'm going to first set up my manual text input to capture my HTML code. Doing it this way means I can more easily reuse the button with different HTML code examples, but you can also ignore this step if you're only planning to make a single conversion. After that's complete, it's time to grab the Cloudmersive connector to make this conversion. I'm clicking New Step and typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. Following that, I'm selecting the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector with the lime green logo from the list of options below. As you'll notice, I jump straight to the actions list when I do that, but if you haven't used this connector before, you'll need to provide login details first. Namely, you'll need to enter a valid Cloudmersive API key, which you can get for free by registering a free account on our website. Once you enter that in here, you won't have to worry about doing it again. Moving on, now that I'm on the actions list, I'm going to search for convert HTML string to PNG and select that option when it comes up. Within this connector action, I have one required field and several optional fields to configure. The required field is the one asking for the HTML text itself, so I can quickly configure that by opening the dynamic content window and adding the text input parser I created in the first step. Other than that, if you're planning to convert large blocks of HTML code, you can configure extra loading time to accommodate a longer operation in the first field here. Below the HTML input field, you can also specify the height and width of your PNG screenshot, which will default to 1280 by 1024 pixels if you decide to leave it blank. I'm going to leave all optional fields blank for my demo, but if you have any issues with your outputs when using this connector, I recommend playing around with these until you find the right balance. With our connector fully configured, the only remaining step is to generate the new PNG file. To do so, I'm clicking New Step and looking for the SharePoint Create File operation. Within this action, I'm quickly configuring details including my site address and folder path before specifying my new file's name and contents. When defining the contents of the file, I just need to pull up the dynamic content window and click on the body output option, which contains the encoding required to generate the PNG screenshot. Now it's time to save and test the flow. After waiting a few seconds on my flow to save, I'm now clicking test and confirming my connections until I get to the manual input field. I'm quickly copying my HTML sample code directly into this field and then confirming and running my flow. I used a very small piece of HTML code, so my flow runs really quickly and the outputs are ready to go in just a few seconds. As you can see, when I jump over to my files folder and open my new file, the HTML code I entered has been rendered and displayed as a regular screenshot exactly as it would appear on a web page. It's a really useful tool to have in your arsenal and it's super easy to use. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more of our weekly Power Automate demonstrations in the future.